Assembly instructions for a Casita Screenhouse Semi-permanent screenhouses are an excellent way to enjoy the beauty of the outdoors without being subject to the accompanying bugs and insects that seem to invade most outdoor festivities. Casita makes several models of easy-to-assemble screenhouses that are perfect for summer retreats, recreational vehicle travels and general camping use. Because they are almost 90% assembled when purchased, users simply need a screwdriver to finish the assembly steps. Disassembly is also quick and easy to allow for seasonal storage. Things you'll need Screwdriver set 6-foot step ladder Hammer Scout out a good location for your screen house. Level surfaces are preferred, away from overhanging objects such as tree limbs or power lines. Unpack the screen house bond lay out all the pieces into small piles of light components. Begin assembly by erecting the wall portion of the screen house. Arrange the wall sections in a rectangular pattern where the unit will sit, and test the door opening to be sure that the door will swing outward away from the screen house when in use. Detach and save the small rubber bands that temporarily secure the security cables to the walls. Pull the black cable retaining hook out from the top left section of the door component. Depress the stud that holds the self-locking clip in place, and gently pull the retaining hook about 3 inches out from the door. Repeat this step for the top right section of the door component. Align the left side of the door component with the adjacent vertical wall section. Press the two pieces together. Connect the door cable hooks to the adjacent wall cable hooks and pull the slack from the three cables. Slide the vinyl door hinge between the two components just installed, so that the hinge is flush with both components the entire length of the door opening. Connect the remaining wall sections using the cable ends at the top, middle and bottom sections of each wall component. When finished, the walls should be completely vertical, with the support cables and clips stuck neatly inside the cable channels of each wall section. Build the roof section by sliding the aluminum roof tube tips directly into the roof rafter components. Rotate each roof tube until the spring-mounted stud pops into place. From inside the assembled wall structure, Raise the roof section to the approximate height of the walls. Hook the first roof tube tip underneath one of the uppermost cables securing the walls together. Continue to work your way around the structure so that all the roof tube tips are secured underneath the uppermost security cable running around the perimeter of the wall components. Install the vinyl roof by working from a side section adjacent to the doorway first. Throw the vinyl roof over the top of the rafter tubes. Slide it around so that it is approximately covering the entire screen house ceiling area. Working one grommet at a time, pull the vinyl with both hands using enough force to hook each grommet onto the appropriate end of the rafter tips, located under the security cable. When assembling a new unit, start with the four corner grommets because the vinyl will be taut, and not have stretched yet from usage. Fasten all the grommets around the perimeter of the roof, stretching and pulling the vinyl as necessary. Once they are securely in place, Attach the middle of the door component to the vinyl using the velcro tabs provided. Pull the roof edge outward. Press it to the velcro band above the center of the door component. Once released, the vinyl should remain taut with the door section. Insert the push button door components into the door handle so that the thumb knob faces outward. Align the door handle with the two pre-drilled holes in the door. Insert the two machine screws that came with the screen house and tighten securely with a slotted screwdriver. Test the door's operation. Verify that all the wall sections are straight and vertical, and that the vinyl roof is taut. Attach the wire anchor loops found around the base of the wall perimeter with the supplied stakes. Once they are attached and taut, drive the supplied stakes into the ground surface, using an approximate angle of 45 degrees. 